Welcome back to my tutorials and this time we're gonna go copy this layout into Dreamweaver and create a CSS based layout. Actually it's gonna be a PHP document. You can in the beginning use HTML so you can use live views and you don't have to use remote server. Uh, I'm gonna talk about setting up the site and the remote server in the next tutorial. Uh, but now let's create a new well, let's create an HTML document. Let's call it our layout. Uh, sorry that uh, blockchain. Update that and well we have one thing done. So right click here, select new, create. Uh, let's let's save this. Say that. Now, let's template site and index is the page you would like to call your index site. Press enter. Now we have our index HTML and let's save our CSS document. Uh, let's create a folder called down down score CSS. Why I like to use down scores is it will simplify things up. Like CSS scripts includes and images are in down scored folders and other sites are in normal folders like uh, admin page. This is gonna be the admin page and this is our scripts folder. Uh, delete this for now and save it here and call it main code. Now we have our main code built up. Now let's attach this style sheet to this document. Uh, design view or split view whichever you like and select class attach style sheet browse documents wherever your Folder or site A's and main code. And press OK. Now, I'm using classic view, so I have these tablets here, and I can create easy div tags and items. Uh, why I use this? Well, shortcuts. Uh, but you can easily do what I'm gonna do from in, from the insert menu tab. Uh, up, up here, but classic view is the one I'm using. So, why CS4 is way better than um, CS3 or any older version of Dreamweaver is because it displays every attached file to this index.html here. Source code is index.html itself. Main code is our main code here. But now let's just give us a basic body tag. Open it. Uh, let's make our background color. Uh, I think it was black. Text is gonna be. Uh, sorry, color is gonna be. I think white is good. I think we used white. That's why I use it and leave this for now. We're not going to do anything else with it. We'll come back to our styles later on. Now, this made ourselves some body layout or sorry, design. Now, go to your design view and insert div tag at insertion point or after tag, well this is a good drop down menu because you can choose either at the insertion point after start of tag before end of tag I'm using after start of tag body just to make sure my cursor was in the right place when I clicked it and we don't have any classes nor ID so we're gonna press new CSS rule compound and this is gonna be our well body. No, let's call it site body so we don't mix it up with the body. Okay, 
main code CSS. Now this throws us a new window and now we're gonna design this box we're creating div tag uh, type well this you can edit however you like uh, yeah I just leave this background color I think we don't need to make this yet anything yet but the thing we're gonna need to do is the box itself with we know our width and height because of the Photoshop document. Now our width was 850 pixels, height was 790 uh, pixels. Uh, floats and everything else, just leave them clear. Padding, margin, zero them up. Border, zero these up. Positioning I don't know if this works, so I'll just leave this blank. So uh we have a width height and everything is cool, so press apply. Uh maybe we should have created a background for it. Now we can see our site body tag over here. This is a design. This body layout is created in design and in script in main code CSS if you don't understand anything. Uh, now we can also see it in our CSS styles here right. So I'm gonna make a quick background color. And I'll make it dash. I'll make it white at the moment. Actually, something cool would be nice, but it's not displaying correctly. Erase you. Now let's start creating the layout. Um, we're gonna do the layout by div da div tags and they're gonna be written in the main code CSS file. Um, let's start off with creating the main wrapper. That's gonna, well not, I'm not gonna call it wrapper, I'm gonna call it body style or, or main body or whatever. Uh, and this is gonna be 700, sorry, 850 pixels wide and 790 pixels high because of our actual template size. This is gonna wrap everything in every single content area is going into this main body div tag we're just gonna create now go to design and insert div tag or if you're not using this just go to uh, layout objects div tag and now insert after starter tag body create new CSS rule choose compound Let's call it uh, site body uh, and choose main code. Uh, just make a background something colorful. This is not gonna stay, ju this is just for understanding and maintaining everything. Now let's enter our height and width. 850 pixels and 790 pixels. Padding 0, 0, border 0, 0. And well, everything else is already organized and press OK. Uh, 